Hi boys and girls and you're all very welcome back to another week of Faith Connection. I hope you've all had a great week and I'm sure you're all so glad to now be finished all your schoolwork at home. Just before we start our story today, we're just going to talk to God and pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, I thank you for keeping each one of us safe, Lord. I just pray that as we learn about you from the Bible this morning, that you will just help each of one of us to listen and to really understand what um, you want to say to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. So I'm going to show you a box this morning and I want you to guess what is inside the box. Okay, so I'm going to show you and inside my box is lots of different colours of felt. So we've got red and we've got green and we've got white and we've got yellow and we've got black. Nearly just every colour that we can imagine. Wouldn't it be so lovely making something very colourful and beautiful out of this felt? Imagine maybe if we can make a picture or even if we stitched it together, we can make a shirt or a dress. I imagine if you made a shirt or a dress with so many colours, everybody would be very jealous and love to have it too. Okay, so you've maybe guessed that our story involves colours today. And our story is about a coat of many colours. So if you don't have your Bible, if you pause the video and run and get your Bible and look up Genesis chapter 37 and 38. So Joseph... Jacob's father had 12 sons. Of all his sons, he loved Joseph the best because he was born to him in his old age. To show how much he loved Joseph, he made him a beautiful coat of many colours, just like the colours we've seen in the felt. Joseph's brothers were very jealous of this because it showed that Joseph was the favourite son and none of the rest were. A few days later, Joseph's father said to him, your brothers are out looking after sheep. I want you to go and check they are okay. So Joseph did what his father told him. But as the brothers seen Joseph coming, they were not very happy to see him. Let's kill him and throw him into a pit and say that he was eaten by a wild animal. But when Reuben, the oldest of the brothers, heard this, he came to Joseph's rescue. And he said, let's not take his life. Instead, let's throw him into a pit in the desert and not harm him. And then we can say an animal has killed him. But Reuben's plan was that he was going to go back and he was going to rescue Joseph later. When Joseph arrived, his brothers grabbed him and ripped off his coat of many colours. And they threw him into a pit. Then they sat down to eat their dinner. But while they were out in their dinner, they seen a group of men on camels walking across the desert. And they thought to themselves, what will it gain us if we kill our brother? Instead, let's sell him to these merchants. So when the merchants came over, they pulled Joseph out of the pit and sold him for 20 pieces of silver. When the brothers got home then, they lied and started to think up of ways that, and excuses to get away with what they'd done to their brother. They killed a goat and smeared its blood all over Joseph's coat of many colours. They took the coat covered in blood back to Joseph's dad, Jacob, and said, an animal must have killed Joseph. Now this was a lie and this was wrong. Jacob was very upset about this because it was his favourite son that had been killed. Surely some ferocious animal has eaten him. What a terrible thing for Joseph's brothers to do, just because they were jealous of his brother. And we can learn from this story that jealousy is wrong and that we shouldn't be jealous. And sometimes when we're jealous, it can make us do things which are wrong and we can be sinful. And it helps us to remember that we need to ask God to forgive us for the times when we maybe are jealous and ask God to help us not to be jealous of other people, but instead to be thankful for the great friends we've got, for our mum and dad and brothers and sisters at home, for the good weather outside, for a school we can go to, for church we can go to and for looking after us through this virus. Um, but... We need to remember that this wasn't the end of the story of Joseph. The story does have a happy ending and Joseph is reunited with his father and brothers. But for today, we're just looking at the topic of jealousy. Jealousy is a thing which we all have done before and we probably all will do. 
But we need to remember that we don't need to be jealous. We all have different lives and we need to trust God that he has a perfect plan for us. And we need to be thankful for the things that he has given to us. Okay, so we're just going to close our eyes and talk to God. Dear Lord, I thank you for looking each up um, after each one of us. I'm sorry, Lord, that we can be jealous of other people, Lord. I pray that you will forgive us for when we are and instead that we would just be thankful for the gifts and the many great things that you have given to us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Okay, hey, what we're going to do now is we're going to make a coat of many colours to help us to remember that we shouldn't be jealous. So the first thing you need to do is you need to get a white piece of card and if you write the verse, Genesis chapter 50 verse 20 a, you planned evil against me but God planned it for good. So the first thing you need to get is either pipe cleaners, lollipop sticks, paper strips, straws or pom-poms all of different colours and if you do have any of them you can just get plain white paper and colour the different strips in and what you'll need is PVA glue or glue stick like a print stick and if you get your mum and dad to cut the sticks in two so they can be used for the arm okay Okay, so you stick three half lollipop sticks or pieces of paper as the arms and three on the other side. And if you use seven sticks as the main part of the coat. Okay, and once you've laid them out, then you can use your Pritt stick or your PVA to stick your coat down. And then every time you look at your poster, you can remember that we shouldn't be jealous, but thank God for everything we have. Mm -hmm.